Okay, yeah, yeah, who was the next one? We'll quickly, okay, we'll come to you. Tell me. So, I have completed my mechanical engineering, and, but currently I'm doing a job in software for you. Hmm, okay. So, I feel like I have done injustice to this four years of engineering. So, I saw uh, one of your thoughts in which you said, choose the regret with which you can live. Hmm, with which we can live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I don't feel like, like I can live with this that I did not give a second chance to mechanical, something like that. Did you love mechanical engineering? Uh, I don't know. Like I, I was. I then you don't love mechanical. I if you don't, yeah, you were good in it. Like I was good in coding. It's not like I cannot code. I obviously can code, but I do not love coding. I do not love computer science engineering. So it's fine. But if you really did have that much amount of passion, you would not be able to walk away, right? Like my problem was that I'm having passion in mechanical engineering. How can I turn it into the best career that I can? But uh, you can think a little bit more about it. Do you every now and then think about how internal combustions work? Do you every now and then think about how turbines work? And nobody can stop you from reading and studying more about that. And at some point, you'll think that I need a higher education in that. And that's when you go for a master's or a PhD. I have uh, currently left mechanical, right? Since I'm doing a job in software, right? Doesn't matter. You still have a BTEC degree in mechanical, right? Yeah. So you can get an M.Tech degree in mechanical, even if you don't have a B.Tech degree in mechanical, you can still do M.Tech in India or M.S. abroad in mechanical. That's perfectly fine. So when should be a good time to leave the current? When you have the feeling that you are ready, now you think that reading and studying more about mechanical engineering is something for me. If you never get that, that's fine as well. And when will it be too late to leave the job? Never. Because there are people doing PhDs at the age of 65. So that it's never too late. Life is too long, but too short as well <laughs> at the same time, all right? But uh, you do, at that point of life, what you think you should do, right? It's as simple as that. You can ask me when it is too late, should I do it right now? It is not written anywhere in stone, right? God did not give me a book where it is written what each and every one of you should be doing. And that's the beauty of life. It's not fixed, and that is when your relatives and your friends tell me, I tell you that you should not do this, you're supposed to do this. They don't know, neither do you. But you have the freedom to make your decisions. So whatever you think you should be doing, you should be doing. At one point, I was thinking that I should get a job in ISRO, and I got a job in ISRO. At one point, I thought I don't need this job anymore, and I should move forward. I did that. At one point, I thought that I should be writing a book. I wrote a book. Someone was writing in the comment section when I published that I have written a book. There's a bad dis business decision. Like It's not a business decision. It's what I wanted to do. Simple as that. Is this a right decision or a wrong decision? It's a right decision because I wanted to do it. It's not a wrong decision because it, this book does not sell well. Someone was saying in the last seminar that uh, I think I made a wrong decision of taking mechanical engineering because I failed in two semesters after that. Like, is that a wrong decision or a wrong action? You made a mechanical engineering decision, then you made a decision that you're not going to study as hard. It's as simple as that. So why are you blaming that decision? It's more important for you to act well after you take the decision. Don't get that much frustrated about what is right, what is wrong. Nobody in this world can sign a contract and tell you that this is what you should be doing. This is the best way. Not even the most famous Babas of this world. They're not going to sign a contract. They don't know. Neither do you. But you have the freedom to choose how your life goes. That's the only freedom we have. Unfortunately, our parents don't understand this. And so they try to impose their wills on us. Sometimes. Sometimes they don't. But mostly they do. Understood? Yeah. It's a very philosophical thing. Everything ends to be like a mindset thing. Everything in this world. Okay? Yeah.